So being on dialysis and being around dialysis patients and being on message boards and group chats or whatever we call them today uh, regarding dialysis, we often hear or we often get the question, how long can a person be on dialysis? Or how long can a person live on dialysis? And I wanted to share my opinion with you about that today. Hey guys, it's Natalie with Living the Oil Life. Thank you for joining me today. If it's your first time, I would love for you to comment below and say hello so we can connect together and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell notification so you get uh, notifications of more videos like this one and this channel is where I love to share my oily lifestyle with essential oils. I've been using them for five years and I can't imagine my life without them uh, but because my dialysis life is intertwined with my essential oil life I like to share my dialysis journey with you guys here also and like I said we often get the question how long can a person live on dialysis and I woke up this morning and realized that 32 years ago today 32 years uh, on my 21st birthday, I started my first hemodialysis treatment. So 32 years ago, I was 21. You can kind of do the math there to find out how old I am for my birthday today. Don't tell anybody, uh, but I started hemo for the first time. And if you haven't heard my story, you can check that out Somewhere up there, it should be popping up or I'll put the link below and it's just a quick synopsis of how I uh, came to be on dialysis. But I just wanted to share with you guys today because we lost a um, dialysis brother this past week uh, from our unit. And it was very disheartening for me uh, because he did not always take care of himself the way that he should. And I don't know what happened to him because of HIPAA laws and all that, and we haven't gotten in touch with his family as patients yet. We haven't been able to, to reach out to his family yet, but we're not allowed to be told, which I hate um, what happened with him. Um, but we do know his being with him three days a week and talking to him and knowing him, he didn't always take the best care of himself. And so when I hear people that are very disheartened about dialysis and they're not wanting to start dialysis because they've heard the horror stories, because they've heard um, people uh, lose their quality of life and they hear that it's, you know, you can't do anything anymore and things like that. I just want to reach out to you and if that's you or if that's someone that you know and love that is being faced with the, um, the potential of having to go on dialysis, I want you to say that it, I want you to know that being on dialysis is not a death sentence. It's a life sentence uh, because without dialysis, you know, if you're having to face that, that you know that the next step, if you don't get a transplant, is a death sentence. And so for me personally, I can't attest for everybody out there. I know that there are stories out there that are not like mine and I am sorry about that. But for me, I want to encourage you that um, it is doable and a lot of it is up to you. And a lot of it is up to you on how you handle it and how you take care of yourself and how you follow directions and follow guidelines and things like that, uh, that has a huge part of how your dialysis experience will be. And for me, for 32 years, I, it's not an easy journey. I've had so many downs and so many close calls and so many mishaps that it's been scary. But on the flip side of that, I was able to watch my daughter grow up. Uh, my daughter's now 25 and married, and I 
am pushing and going every day so that one day I'll be able to hold my grandbabies. Uh, and I'm going to try not to cry uh, because that's the reason why I do this. Um, that's the reason why I get up at 4.45 in the morning to go to dialysis for three and a half hours. It's like a part-time job uh, because of my daughter, because of my family, because of my sister, um, because of my brother that passed away and my other brothers that I have. Um, my family is the reason why I do this. And like I said, it's not easy, but it's doable. And um, if you don't cut treatments, if you eat the foods that you're supposed to eat and stay away from the foods that you're supposed to stay away from, if you take your medicine the way that you're supposed to take them, um, if you have an attitude that is a conquering attitude of, yes, I can do this and not a defeating attitude and, um, you know, your mental attitude is like, I say 85 to 90% of the battle itself, and that is what has sustained me by the grace of God. Um, he has sustained me, but my mental attitude um, of not letting it get to me and not letting it. Now, I'm not saying I don't have my down days because I am one to cry in the pillow and just not get up on a day, but for the most part, I have a good attitude about it because this is it. This is life. But if you hear those stories of you don't have a life anymore, your life is over, you can never do anything again, I'm going to tell you that's not true because I have been to Maryland several times, I have been to Disney World, I have been on cruises, I have been to Cancun, I have been to California, all while being on dialysis. So it is possible. Oh, and I have worked uh, ever since. Um, I have been on dialysis. I never stopped working. Um, I have been working. And like I said, I raised a 25-year-old daughter, um, a lot of that by myself. And so it is doable. Now, some of those times she came and sat next to the chair with me or in a chair next to me for three hours uh, when she was younger. That was a different time. Of course, I don't. you can't do that nowadays, uh, but way back when, she was able to do that. So I say all of this, <laughs> I guess, just to encourage you, um, do, dialysis is doable. And if you've heard, well, dialysis patients can only do it for like 18 years or 8 years or 10 years, you can say, nope, you know what? I know somebody that's been doing it for 32 plus years, and she's still going, and she's not giving up. So that's it. If you ever hear that question, if you've ever wondered that question, how long can somebody live on dialysis? I've been doing it for 32 years. Oh, and I also get asked, do I do hemo or peritoneal? I've actually done both and I will do a video on that uh, because I get asked that all the time and this, that's a longer video and I don't want to keep you guys. But I just wanted to share that. I just wanted to encourage somebody today because I just really felt like um, I don't know if it was just because I was down after losing a dialysis brother uh, this this past week and just realizing that I've been on it for 32 years. I just really want to encourage somebody today. So I hope this helped you. And uh, until next time, keep living the oil life, keep living the dialysis life, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.